Well, for many of you, love extends beyond just the humans in your life. If you are a pet owner and love your pet, well, this next interview is just for you. For the past two weeks, Juanita Markham has been bringing us information about essential oils. Well, as it turns out, they can be used for pets as well. Andy continues his conversation with Juanita. Lots of pet lovers out in our TV 44 yes. viewing area and essential oils uh, you've seen on your, your dogs yes. make an impact. Yes, I have um, nine little palm cheese at home. <laughs> um, yes, I am. Very excitable, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, yes, I have a Bonnie and Clyde and then I have their little gangs. So oh, nice. I ended up keeping some of the pup, well, most of the puppies. <laughs> so you kind of um, have a few and that can make a pretty good vet bill. So um, one thing that I ran into is when I took them in and got them all fixed, so I kind of got mom and dad and the puppies all fixed about the same time, um, came home with kennel cough. Oh. And kennel cough typically lasts for a good week. Um, I put in um, one of the immune blends and let it run. I was putting it on their back paws, so on, on your dogs. Mm -hmm. Their reflexology points are on their back paws. Oh, really? Okay. And I'll also put it kind of like on their ears because okay. you get into the membranes quickly by doing the ears. Okay. Um, and it just, I had three of them each for about a day and a half. So they all kind of went, you know, one got it, then another one, Passed and then a third one gotcha. was three days total. Wow. And I'm from what I was looking up um, on information about kennel cough, it's typically at least a week. Wow. And a lot of times they need to be put on antibiotics or oh, medication yeah. for it. And no antibiotics, no medications, um, just just the immune blend and running it in the diffuser. And it was it was just incredible. I, I just I've seen such good results. Awesome. Um, and another one that I just love is the digestion blend. Um, you know, you see your little dog outside eating grass. Oh, yeah. um, it doesn't take much for them just to kind of come in and spit up rubbing a little bit of that on their belly, on their back paws, and has just been incredible. Awesome. So uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with your dogs. Lots of good information. You can get more information at ichoosetobewell.com. You can email Juanita, Juanita Markham. Uh, it's Juanita at ichoosetobewell.com. And of course, the Lyman Public Library. Uh, stop by one of her weekly sessions and get some questions answered. A great way for healthy living uh, here on Faith and Friends.